Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Pisces Sun Moon Horizon for the month of December 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a month of transition. The first week is going to be wonderful for you guys. There is a lot of situation that is coming in and luck is here. Nine of Pentacles is going to be good. Your financial situation is going to be good. Whatever is happening in your life in this month of December, it's going to be wonderful. Okay, there is a changing of the guards of things that are going to be happening. So um, I want to say thank you for supporting my channel this whole year of 2017 and thank you to all the supporters um please remember to leave a message it is healing yourself as healing others um uh, thank you for the support and all that um really happen um for you in this month and i want to say to each and every person be kind to yourself in this month whatever that has transpired through the year your birthday is coming up soon within the next three months and for what is happening here good news is on its way um new situation is going to develop in your life there is going to be a balance um whatever um situations you have um for the people who are in a relationship with the earth sign of women it's going to be wonderful it's going to bring you a lot of good blessings okay um let's see what energies you have and you're going to work with in this month of um, uh, December. Um, it is the last month of the year. It is a month of the hair energies. And with the hair energies, we have a lot of situation that is going to be happening for you Pisces. You have the energy of the nurturing and that is what going to come out and help you the nurturing of the energies are going to come out and help you in this month it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive there's a lot of situation that you're going to nurture your inner child but yet still nurture all the people around you so this is going to be positive as we look forward we're looking at the energy vibration of the energy of uh, um the um angel of abundance the archangel raphael and Archangel Raphael is going to be in this month and it's going to be a very, very positive month. It's going to be a month of a, a very positive situation coming in your life. Archangel Raphael is the angels of healing and he's also the angels of abundance. So this is going to be wonderful and positive. For a lot of you Pisces, you're going to be connecting with soul families, so people from lifetimes and lifetime before. So, um, you are going to be meeting um, new people and connecting with your soul family. Okay, so this is going to be a wonderful month. Um, if you are looking for a relationship, uh, if you're in a relationship, um, it's going to be a month that is going to tell you that this is the right person for you and this is the right person that is, has come in for you in this lifetime. Um, your reader is um, um, constructed up three different layers as usual it's a monthly reading and um, there is going to be it is going to be the month of uh, looking for inner wisdom and this is going to be wonderful because this is a major arcana you have three major arcana that comes up in your reading this is wonderful and um, not a lot of signs had three major arcana um, so this is saying that a lot of things are happening and you are looking for inner wisdom to heal your way and move yourself forward which is going to be good and we are also working with the energy vibration of uh, the unicorns the unicorns is night dimension beams and you guys work with the higher element realm of the unseen world and let's see what you have you have mother mary coming out with her angel and as you look at the energy with Mother Mary, it's a blue, green, just as Archangel Raphael. Mother Mary comes out to touch and open up um, and heal all of you. He, she is bringing blessings to all you Pisces. So this is wonderful. This is good. This is going to be a very, very positive month. I can also see that a lot of people, good news, 
will be coming into you there is a message of good news coming into you this is good news whatever that has taken place in the past whatever that was stolen from you will be returned this is a positive energies so I've changed up the way we're doing the readings and we are going to look at the cards and see what is in your cards for this month this month is the energy vibration of a hair element the hair element is bringing in a lot of good things for you the first week is the week of emotion which is a wonderful positive week you can see the positive things here because in the first week you're coming out of November coming in December and it is bringing you positivity your materialistic and spiritual balance and prosperity will be here but yet still you would be missing someone but we are going to go forward and look in in depth in the weeks um, the second week and the third week it is going to be because uh, we're working from this way downwards uh, because this is your first week uh, so the the second week and the third week it's going to be wonderful in the third week a lot of you uh, need to work on your crown chakra your crown chakra is a meter above your head the angel you can call upon is Archangel Metatron or um, you work with the planet of Neptune call in your spirit guides and uh, um, the angelical light to come in and heal you fourth week is going to be wonderful you're going to end the year 2017 on a good note because you have death and transformation it is your week also it is a water week and you have the eight of cups the eight of cups is wonderful um, because there's a transformation you're leaving something behind your luck is coming in and this is going to be wonderful so let's go forward and look at your week to see what is happening in the first week you have the energy vibration of materialistic and spiritual prosperity so your materialistic world whatever it was in November coming in December in the first week it's going to be very positive there is going to be an emotional loss and uh, this emotional loss is going to occur it could be for different things it could be you're missing someone and um because the nurturing energy is here guiding you in this month so it's as if you're missing someone but not to worry because new possibilities are about to open up for you so it's as if you realize in the first week you know you're losing something or you're missing something but not to worry um, it's as if there are new and better opportunities that is going to come in in the rest of the month so this is good your materialistic and spiritual health is balanced you're missing something but don't worry because there's new possibilities that are about to open up for you as we look at the second week you need to have patience. there are situations that is going on you need to have patience. you have the seven of ones this is good the seven of ones is protecting you so um this major arcana of patience comes in and the seven of ones is letting you know that you're protected in this time while you have patience because by doing that there is a balance and a stability that is about to affect your life in a very very good way so this is really positive in the second week because um even though um the energy of uh, patience is here it's the energy of an earth sign because it is a fire week and the earth sign energies are bringing a balance into your world with this balance the seven of um ones which is um you know this is you are protected it doesn't matter what is happening you're protected and you're going to receive a stable balance in your life in whatever it is is it work is it love is it study whatever it is is it a personal journey you're on um, a stable balance is going to come in in the third week we have the energy of the crown chakra that means that you're not opening up to your spiritual guides and angels so be aware of this just call up an archangel metatron to touch open and activate your crown chakra if you're ready for this and by doing that it's going to bring you a lot of financial abundancy because the nine of material 
is the nine of your whatever you need in your life the materialistic aspect money uh, this is the week of Christmas and um, someone is going to enter your life and um, for you men it's going to be someone a woman is going to enter your life and this woman is going to bring you a lot of success okay so um, this is good nine of Pentacles is a very good sign this could be an earth sign person a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn who is about to enter your life in the fourth week we have the energy of debt and transformation Fourth week is a very good week because it is uh, um, the ending of the year this is um, good this is positive and you have the number eight the number eight um, this um, this number eight energy is coming up because it is the eight of emotion so the last week um, there is a transformation that is coming in with your emotions and after you heal that luck is going to come in it's like a lucky streak is going to begin for you guys and it's going to be wonderful and positive this is another good readings because the readings in this month was a bit because it's a month of endings and bringing in new beginnings there's a lot of things that is going out to ray and a lot of things that are happening what this is saying in business love and opportunities um, whatever you're looking for in your life there is a new begin beginning that is going to come in this new beginning is going to open up a lot of new doors for you so whatever you're missing um, this new beginning is going to open up a lot of new doors because as you see your materialistic and spiritual side as you be patient you open up your um, um, your crown chakras especially if you're a creative persons there is going to be a wonderful transformation there's going to be changes that is going to be coming in the first week you have a sort of an energy of you're missing something missing someone but don't be of a ray because you're sp you're you're protected by the spirit world okay um, it's, it's as if the spirit world is protecting you so whoever whatever you're missing do not be a ray money is coming and the nine of materialistic things is going to be here and you have the eight of cups which you're leaving um, um, a, a situation behind in the last week of December so this is going to be good because you're ending December leaving something behind there's a there's these two or transformation um, the number 13 which is transformation is endings endings or happening so that new beginnings can come in and the new beginnings that is going to come in it's going to come in with a lot of luck so this is going to be wonderful for you Pisces and um, it's as if you have overcome your enemies whatever that was happening you have overcome your enemies and a wonderful new beginning is going to come in for you Pisces so this is wonderful leaving a year um, and this is the general year you're leaving um, certain aspects certain things behind there are wonderful new opportunities that are is about to come in by now and your birthday in three months from um, three months yeah three months from now you Pisces are going to be having your birthday and you know mother Mary and her unicorn is here watching over you and blessing you and this is a month to ask your wishes and your dream there is someone in your life with the men there's a woman um, who is an a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is who's in your life who's going to bring you a lot of luck okay she's going to bring balance to your life and she's going to bring you a lot of love and you know the energy of the stairs opening up is that a lot of possibilities a lot of stuff is going to be happening for you in business and in your work life and in your study life in the first week okay so let's look and see what love has for you Pisces in the first week the energy of the star comes up a lot of people are having the energy of the star it's as if the universal angels and guides are bringing new wonderful um, relationships in your life or they are healing the relationship that you are already in so let's say you have a long-lasting marriage or 
um, a long lasting relationship whether or not you're married or not and you've been with this person for a very long time it is going to bring a sort of a healing in and this is going to be good let's see what is in the second week we have in the second week the magician and this is wonderful because whatever is happening in your relationship there's a balance that is coming in your relationship it's as if some people whenever this energy of balance comes in is that two people understand where they are with each other they are no longer worrying about uh, people looking for another person because they know that their relationship is in balance the magician is going to come in to bring certain aspects and certain situations in your life which is wonderful let's look at the third week where we have oh wow in the third week you have um the five of cups the five of cups is an emotional situation with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so there is going to be an emotional situation it's um, a sort of a regret in the sense that maybe you're missing this person because there is the energy of uh, um, for Drit um, in the first week so maybe you're missing this person whatever the situation is you know be aware that you know the magician is going to um, bring um, you two together and eat whatsoever is happening let's look at the four week for love and see you have the energy for some people who are looking forward for a new relationship luck is going to come in oops luck is going to come in um, with someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so this is wonderful because if you're looking for for a new relationship this new relationship is going to happen I see that the energy of the energy of the star is um, always carry the energy vibration of the Aquarian so um, some of you in the first week could be connecting with someone who is an Aquarian okay but as we look at the second week if you are in a relationship with someone who is a Gemini um, this there's a balance that is going to come in your relationship which is very good because this reading is a reading that in the love readings the major arcanas came up so that means there's a blessing and an healing that is coming in with these people so if you're if you're with air people in the two first week and it could if it doesn't happen in the two first weeks it could happen any time in the month that there is a new um, opening for the Aquarians and uh, um, this could be good some people could be feeling a loss with a relationship that you had with an Aquarian and some people are having balance with your relationship with the Gemini's as we look with the Capricorns Taurus or Virgo people um, there is an emotional turmoil and there's a kind of sadness it's not an end um, there's no end coming in relationships but there's kind of a sadness because it could be Christmas and your partner is a Taurus Virgo or a um, Capricorn and you're missing this person there is a sort of a sadness in the third week in the fourth week as you look forward for some people and these are the people who are younger 18 to until 35 you might have a uh, luck with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there's a new opening that is coming in and you're going you're about to meet someone who is going to change your world and bring you luck okay because um, the uh, you Pisces with the earth sign people is always very balanced very good they always tend to bring balance in your life and bring positive energies in your life so you know I was kind of wondered about you to you um, Pisces reading but actually it is a good reading okay let's see what is happening with the zodiac aspect of your reading let's look at the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. to see what you will be working with we are only going to look at two energies one fell out so um, let's see what this is all about you have the Aquarians oh my god and the stars so obviously there's a message that is coming out 
for you Pisces who are connected with the Aquarians uh, that new possibilities of these people will be coming in your life some of you are going to have um, regrets uh, connecting with an Aquarian some of you are going to um, be opening up but it's more regrets because you have the five of uh, um, cups and a five of cups is more of a regret because you're looking at this person and she's very sad so the the men will be feeling very you know materialistic balance and the women will be having a sort of a loss so if the you women are having relationships with Aquarians people there is going to be a sort of a, a loss and especially if you uh, were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. there is going to be a sort of a loss okay let's see who else is working with you Pisces we have Pluto and Pluto and the Aquarius oh my god okay all right Pluto is just gonna you know reach out and and, and remove things and people out of your life that no longer serve you and as you see here it, it's saying in the second week where Pluto landed is that um, you need to have patience and understand that you have patience you're protected and a balance is coming in especially for your relationships with the people who are in relationships with the Gemini's but Pluto is coming in so you know be aware and you know get ready when Pluto is in your sign because something is going to happen dramatically let's look forward and look at the people the moon people who were born between the uh, hours of 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. and let's see what do we have for the energy of the moon people we have Saturnus so your career your career and Saturn is in the leaven of the Capricorn people so if you're having relationships with the Capricorn there is going to be a sort of a hop heat it's not really it's gonna be because the Capricorns are you know Saturn is going back in the Capricorns um, birth chart and you know it's gonna affect them which if you have a relationship with a Capricorn it's going to have an effect on you also because they're actually going to be changing and um, you know despite the, you know this you know where you stand in that Capricorn life there is going to be changes okay so let's see what else is happening to the moon Pisces and who is coming in you have the Tauruses so here we go because I told you about some women who was and here is the sign also of the Taurus the um, hurt sign people coming in so for the people who are going to be connecting uh, the people between the ages of 18 and 35 who are going to be connecting with who are going to be connecting with the um with the hurt sign person that is going to be a Taurus okay so for the if you were born between the, the time of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. You're between the ages of 18 and 35. What is going to happen is that there is someone who is a Taurus that is going, or the people of Taurus, there's going to be an opening. They're going to bring you in luck. You know, it could be in a work situation. So, good news, um, because you have the energy of good news, um, a new opening. So, it could be in love and this could be in work for some people luck so it's as if this fourth week of transformation in um, luck it's going to be with someone who is a Taurus and this is going to be um, extremely wonderful so I actually love the way your reading came out because this month of December is um, is wonderful take another look because I'm gonna um, move the camera up as you you know as you look at all the formation and what is going to happen is that someone who is a Taurus is coming in your life whoever this Taurus is whether in business or whether in love 
this person is going to actually bring you luck in your life and this is good I mean everybody could use a little bit of luck and whenever the water sign people connects with the hurt sign people it's always luck coming in so for the younger people and the younger folks who are connecting and looking for relationships you are going to see this happening in the fourth week with the Tauruses in the second week it's going to be as if it's wet you know it can be with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn in the third week okay but whatever is happening because um, what let me know that this has to do with someone who is a Capricorn it's because the planet of Ceteris or the 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 the, the um, goddess of Ceteris is here and it has to do with um, um, Capricorn is governed door the Ceteris so it's in love it's going to affect you but in your career it's going to affect some people in their career so you know these are situation and things that is about to happen for you um, Pisces in this month and I want to say um, to you guys um, no matter what is happening it's gonna be wonderful you know it's gonna be changing of the guards it's gonna be the end of the year there's gonna be new things coming in accept whatever is happening in your life um, don't try to fight against the flow understand where you are and uh, by doing this then you are going to feel yourself coming out of this month in a very very good positive way I want to say to each and every person a Merry Christmas I want to thank you so much I'm open wishing that your wishes and dream for Christmas will come true because you guys have been supporting my channel so much and I love you Pisces so I want to say to you please have a wonderful wonderful month and I'll talk to you um, through the month and I want to say namaste until next time Merry Christmas